morning. Welcome back. You can see partly sunny conditions across the Wabash Valley today. More clouds than sun uh, compared to the last couple of days, but it is going to be comfortable. We're going to see our temperatures rise to the lower 50s. It's not going to feel too bad this afternoon, but you will have to work around strong winds ahead of a major warm up tomorrow again, but we are going to see a chance of rain before the weekend. Now our temperatures lower 30s right now, right along the freezing line. Now it's cold outside. It is chilly but it's not as frigid as it has been the last couple of mornings and you're going to tell the difference immediately. Our temperatures are not in the lower 20s like they've been the last couple of mornings They're in the lower 30s and this is going to lead to again just warmer conditions in the afternoon. And you can see on our storm tracker satellite picking up a lot of cloud cover here, but the clouds in some locations are trying to thin out a little bit. You can see Vincent's area, some thinner clouds breaks in the clouds will form over the course of the morning. And you can see that on our future cast where every once in a while sunlight will peek through there and then by the middle part of the day, wider areas of sunlight take over here. You can see this is around lunchtime. Look at that clear sky uh, to the northeast. Some light cloud cover Brazil. Terre Haute, Rockville, maybe some lingering clouds briefly, but we're not done with the clouds yet, but we are going to briefly see a lot of sunlight and then very quickly here, more cloud coverage going to arrive from the west here. This is around five, mostly cloudy skies by the end of the daylight hours, start of the evening here, but we're still dry. So if you're looking to avoid rain, you can do that today, but any work you're doing outdoors, uh, keep in mind, we're going to have wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour. So it is going to be very windy. The winds could impact any of your outdoor work, so just be careful. This is around 11, maybe some light rain showers trying to get started to the southeast there outside our region. Light sprinkles possible at this time, but we're really gonna have to wait till tomorrow for widespread rain showers. But the warm is going to continue over the course of the night tonight and the day tomorrow. Now today we're in the lower 50s. We're partly sunny. We're warmer. Thanks in a large part to winds out of the southeast up to 30 miles an hour. And these winds are going to be strong to bring in warmer air. And because of that, our temperatures tonight are only going to drop to the lower 40s. We're mostly cloudy. We're cool. Still breezy tonight. Tomorrow we're in the lower 60s. Cloudy, warm conditions, showers possible throughout the day tomorrow. And again, it's more comfortable tomorrow, but we are going to have rain showers. So if you don't want to work around rain, you might want to get outside today, even though it is going to be a little bit cooler. Seven day forecast shows uh, an immediate cool down on Saturday. The rain showers pass through tomorrow, maybe some showers, thunder showers uh, Friday night and Saturday, early Saturday morning. Rain showers are going to leave. So we're in the upper 40s, cloudy to begin with, sunny to end, and then Sunday, mostly sunny skies, temperatures still in the 40s, and then immediately next work week, we're going to be way above normal with our temperatures again. We're going from the lower 50s to the mid 60s on Wednesday with a chance of rain after two sunny days, Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going to have another small chance of rain. But look at the highs, mid 60s, and I want to remind you this is December, so it's going to be way above normal.